Option number one for doing your complementary color project is to use construction paper, but you're not going to use all of them. You're going to use just a pair. So it could be the yellow and purple. It could be the blue and orange. It could be green and red. You get to pick. Let's say I'm going to pick purple and yellow. Okay, so I need to cut out some stripes. So I'm going to turn my paper hot dog style. Okay, that means long ways or horizontal. I'm going to fold them both in half once. I'm going to fold them in half twice. And then if I can't do this, it might be a little thick. Uh, it's getting a little crooked. No worries. Just try again. Try again. There we go. All right. So I'm going to unfold it now. And now I can see the lines. So the next thing I would do is cut very carefully on those lines the best I can. Got that. Now, the next thing I want you to do, you need another piece of paper. It could even be notebook paper, all right? And I want you to fold it in half, hamburger style, okay? And I'm gonna do it reversed, fold too, like that. And then either cut it in half or put your finger down, tear a little bit, okay? Or you can just cut it in half, okay? All right, the next step is you are going to glue these on here. Try not to leave any white paper showing, but it's going to be yellow, purple, yellow, purple, or whatever pair of colors you picked. It could go green, red, green, red, green, red, or blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, okay? All right, so go glue that. Uh-oh, there's a white spot showing in between. So I'm going to make this one overlap the yellow just a little bit. There, all done. Then I'll flip it over and I'm going to cut these off. If you don't have scissors, you can tear them off very carefully like that okay all right I'm gonna do that to both of those halves of paper why well you'll see okay, in a minute so now I've done both of them but on this one I'm going to cut a shape out so again I'll cut these off just to make things easier to handle okay put those to the side and then I'll get something to either trace or draw a shape with. Like I could even use my water bottle and I could trace a circle around like that. Eh, maybe I don't like that. Maybe I wanna do a triangle or something, okay? Or I can do a square or a rectangle, okay? Eh, I'll decide. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I like the circle, but I think I want it a little bigger. So I'm going to use this instead. Do you see how I'm not erasing my lines that I decided I didn't want? That's because this is going to be the back, so it's not going to matter. Okay, that's kind of an ugly circle, but that's okay. I can still see what I want to do. Okay, so now I will cut on this. as neatly as I can. Okay, and go slow. Oh, I don't like that little lip right there. I'm gonna cut that off. There, okay. 
So then I would glue this on here. Oh, I don't like that either. I don't want that white showing. Get that. There we go. Okay. Ah, man, they keep falling off. That's all right. I'm going to glue it. So there. Fix that. And yes, you can use glue stick for this too. So now I can turn this a certain way and then glue it down. I kind of like it diagonal. I mean, I could, I could put it vertical too with the lines going up and down. Hmm. I like the diagonal. So I'm going to do that. So dot, 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 not blah, blah, dot, dot, yes a lot in art. Okay, and then I will put it down. You can do a star, you can do a heart. You could even use these scraps if you wanted to. I could put some of these on here. I could even cut them and glue them down. Make us something a little more interesting. Let me take those off. Ooh, that's kind of neat. I'm going to put those. Okay, so I'm going to put that. And I like how they look on the yellow. Okay, so like that. And kind of like that. And like that. And maybe one more up here because things look better in odd numbers, okay? So here you go. Oh, and if them, something like that happens, just wipe it off. And if it's glue, you just kind of wipe it and it will dry shiny and invisible, okay? So then you would take a picture of it with your face by it, like that, and then submit it to Miss Art, okay? Have fun.